The 1940s radiator trick that beats today's systems without breaking a sweat. If you've ever wondered how families in the 1940s managed to stay warm through brutal winters, fuel rationing and, well, the chaos surrounding World War II, here's the twist. The real magic wasn't in massive boilers or high-tech systems. It was in a dead simple radiator trick, so effective, so brutally efficient, that it outperforms many modern setups to this day. Stick with me, because this technique isn't nostalgia. It's practical. It's physics. And if you live in a home with radiators, or rely on any radiant heat source, what you're about to hear can genuinely make your space warmer using the same fuel you already burn. Why old radiators were heating beasts, even in drafty homes? Modern heating assumes perfect insulation, airtight windows, and controlled environments. But 1940s homes? They were drafty, leaky, and barely insulated. Engineers of the era knew these limitations, so they oversized cast iron radiators and ran them at lower water temperatures. This combination produced soft, steady, room filling radiant heat that didn't depend on ideal building conditions. But here's the part history nerds tend to overlook. This design accidentally created the perfect environment for one clever upgrade. A trick wartime families used because they had to stretch every bit of heat. A trick that made those oversized radiators perform like absolute champions. The forgotten reflector trick that saved wartime homes. Behind every radiator sits a wall. And that wall, especially older plaster or brick, soaks up heat like a sponge. Families in the 1930s and 40s quickly realised they were losing a huge chunk of precious warmth straight into the structure. Fuel was rationed. Coal cost money. Every degree mattered. So they did something beautifully simple. They placed a reflective metal sheet behind the radiator. Tin foil, salvaged sheet metal, polished stove plates, anything that bounced radiant heat back into the room. And, you know, this wasn't just a guess. Wartime household tests in both Britain and the United States measured the results. A properly placed reflective panel boosted usable heat in the room by roughly 5 to 15 percent, depending on wall material. That's not small. That's the difference between shivering in your living room and actually feeling comfortable, without burning an extra ounce of fuel. Households got creative. Cardboard wrapped in foil wedged behind the radiator. Baking trays slid behind the iron fins. Roof tin cut to size. Whatever worked, worked. And here's the kicker. The exact same setup works just as well today. You know, adding a simple top shelf actually made the hack even stronger. Wartime ingenuity, well, it rarely stopped at step one. Families quickly noticed that while the reflective panel helped with radiant heat, convection, warm air rising, still tended to drift straight up the wall and stay trapped there. Good heat, just in the wrong direction. So, their solution? A small overhang above the radiator. It could be wood, scrap metal, maybe a leftover board. Really, anything that nudged rising warm air outward into the room, rather than letting it cling to the wall like dead space. 
Old engineering manuals from that era spelled it out clearly. Reflect backward heat and project upward heat forward. Together, the reflective panel and the top shelf formed one of the most effective low-tech heating optimizations ever used in civilian homes. Now, here's how you can apply the 1940s method today with some real practical steps. If your home uses hot water or steam radiators, this is honestly almost too easy. All you need to do is cut a panel the same width and height as the radiator. You can use modern radiator foil, a thin sheet of aluminum, or even just simple metal flashing. Mount it behind the radiator with a small air gap. Just two small spaces are enough. That little gap really boosts reflection and, importantly, prevents the material from overheating. Now add a shelf above the radiator. Something about six to ten inches deep works beautifully honestly. Just make sure it's stable and heat resistant. That shelf will redirect warm air outward, spreading heat across the room much faster. You'll notice the difference in just a few minutes. This isn't theoretical, not maybe. It's actual warmer air flowing exactly where you need it. Here's the thing. This trick becomes survival gold in an off-grid or emergency setup. This isn't just a cute historical fact. The principle applies anywhere heat is precious. If you ever find yourself in a cabin with a wood stove, a bunker with a single radiant heater, or a rural building with aging infrastructure, you can reclaim wasted heat with the very same approach. A polished metal panel behind your heat source reflects energy forward. A small overhang directs rising warmth where humans actually sit and sleep. Soldiers used canteen lids. Farm families used roof tin. Off-grid homesteads still use metal flashing. Physics is indifferent to time and circumstance. It just works. Even in the field, a piece of foil-wrapped plywood can turn a mediocre stove into a much more effective heater. When survival matters, this simple trick becomes a force multiplier. So why does this wartime hack still matter for, well, serious history lovers and those, you know, survival-minded thinkers? Every historian who studies domestic life during World War II, sooner or later, encounters this method, because it really shows how ordinary people adapted to, frankly, extraordinary conditions. It's history you can use, not trivia not decoration. Not trivia, not decoration. A real technique pulled straight from the daily lives of families fighting cold and scarcity at the same time. And the best part, it's still recommended today by restoration experts and off-grid builders for one simple reason. Efficiency isn't about burning more fuel. It's about refusing to let heat run off in directions where it does nothing for you. This 1940s radiator trick forces every bit of warmth to work harder, just like the people who invented it. If you want more deep-cut historical methods that still pull real weight today, make sure you subscribe to History HQ. Share this with someone who loves serious history, survival knowledge, and practical techniques that haven't aged a day.
More powerful forgotten skills are coming your way.